The first metacarpal bone is located in the wrist. The scatter plot below shows the relationship between the length of the first metacarpal bone and height for nine people. A line of best fit is also shown. How many of the nine people have an actual height that differs by more than three centimeters from the height predicted by the line of best fit? So another question with a line of best fit here. And we need to know how many of these nine people represented by these points in our graph here uh, have a height that differs by more than three centimeters uh, from what would be predicted by the line of best fit. Well, let's look at this one, for example. This person has a height of 175 and a length of the metacarpal bone of 4.3. And yet, according to the line, they should have a height of, that looks to be 167, but they have a height of 175, which is bigger than three, so that's one point. Here would be another. It's a difference of one, two, three, four, five. But don't just count the ones above. We also have to count the ones below. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. This one counts, and this one should count. One, two, three, four, yeah. The others are within three. So the only points that are three centimeters away in height from the predicted height based on their best fit line is going to be these four. So the answer to this one is choice B. Best fit line questions were not super unusual on the old SAT, but they're definitely playing a bigger role on the new version of the test. So if you're not familiar with best fit lines, if you don't know how they're generated and what they represent, then this is something that you can uh, probably want to probably want to work on, probably want to learn. So this question, though, wasn't too bad. As long as we can find the points that are three centimeters above or below the line, we're good to go. But kind of understanding how the line makes a prediction, as they call it, is the key to this question and how that line relates to the points uh, in this scatter plot. Okay, so that's this one. Let's move on to the next question.